all verse rising soul fam so we got daylight man you know he was doing a interview and like geechee was talking to loaded lutz because loaded lutz is known as beloved right so daylight was talking about how the whole till death do us apart event that was made by drake for his birthday when he made this event Daylight said it felt so evil, it felt so narcissistic or in demonic and soulless vibration, right? Like the whole card didn't really sound right and it sounded very sacrificial. And that's interesting because, you know, the URL, the, the ultimate rap league, right? The ultimate rap league. Why is it called the ultimate rap league? The ultimate rap league. That's so commercialized, that's owned by these draconian, narcissistic slave owners be, that, that runs the league behind the scenes. And they have their little minions like Smack White and fucking Drake, who is known to be a fucking sellout. I mean, because Drake, you know, he was born in these slave owner families. He wasn't born in no chosen one s spiritual, biological family trees. You feel what I'm saying? So to that the whole the whole caption till death do us apart it it was like a curse it was like a cursed event I'm gonna chime in more on that after daylight talks and shout out to Brick Street Sprite man because you know he be catching this stuff too Holy Vision man You know I said on my channel too about saying channel like me and Lux was the first people that got called for this event mm -hmm. And um, oh, sure. he was the first people that got called. Like hey, literally, they like say, I mean, like they not. Yeah. Drake said he wanted to see that. Band. Yeah, it was the first people they called for this event. It was the first battle so that was going to be. Make a battle this happen. was supposed to be the big battle that that happened at this event. Um, and we were negotiating it, and uh, it felt evil, bro. Like the type of money they was offering, the money was crazy. It was mm -hmm. very crazy. It was a million, million dollars. The money was crazy. Um, but what we wanted on the back end, they wasn't really willing to give it to us, right? So like, right, like rights and stuff. Yeah, there's just a lot of other things on the back end that we want for this battle. It wouldn't really get to it. So, you know, B's like, yo, we spin a block. We spin a block on it. Let's just let's just push this aside. We spin a block. Let's work on some more options. Whatever. So, um, you know, Kayshawn fumbled the bag, and that was so it's supposed to be K me and Kayshawn, and then Nietzsche and Lux. But then later on, I'm like, some still don't seem right about this event. Like it just don't feel right. Like the energy feel very like, um. What's the word for it? Like, you know how, like, like, like you walk in and the motherfucker in the alley be like, hey, I have money. Go get it. Yeah, yeah. It felt like that. Like, he was like, I am broke. Yeah. Maybe I, no, something don't feel right about this money. Like, it feel very like, yeah, yeah. like a devil tampering you with, like, mm -hmm. come get the bag. Right. Mm -hmm. So, boom, um, you know, they presented the opportunity to Lux, too. And, um, I, you know, I, I, I tapped in. I'm like. Hey, yo, we should stay off this event. We stay off this car. Like, it's something not right about the energy. Like, it, it just, it's not right. Like, it's not meant for, um, I mean, it's called Death Do Us Part. It's meant for destruction. Like, it's, it's like people are to die. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, 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 didn't like the, I didn't like the name either. Yeah, really. like, people got. Yeah, so see, Daylight even, and he, and he's a battle rapper. He's been in the battle rap community for, for like long, long years, a longevity in the battle rap community, right? And as, as you see, he 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 said he chimed in with Loaded Lux to say like we shouldn't do this event because you know the vibrations is off, is like soulless, right? And look, man, even these battle rappers are telling you that these events have a soulless frequency that just goes on there. You feel what I'm saying, man? Because like it's just not right. I mean, all these commercialized events is all scripted, is all staged, you know, till death do us apart. It, it is the anti, it is the anti of, of crystallization. You know, you crystallize, you know how souls crystallize when they, you know, when souls, when soulful beings of any divine alien race, when they ascend to the next lifetime, they don't die soulful beings crystallize right because soulful beings are guardians of the engine of a multiverse you feel what i'm saying and that's what a lot of the so-called spiritual communities that's mainstream they don't tell you that soulful beings crystallize right they always talk about they dying shit 
And look, this URL, this this Ultimate Rap League, man, the, the whole Till Death Do Us Apart caption, that was nothing but a curse spell that was placed, man, because how the fuck Jazz the Rapper beat Gaddis, man? You feel what I'm saying? A lot of these, a lot of these, uh, quote unquote transformers and stuff the females that be transformers and and, and males that be fucking transforming the, the, it's crazy these events man these events if it was set up by drake you knew this shit was a damn soulless vibrational event you feel what i'm saying and yeah when it comes to commercialized battle rap a lot of females are actually men and a lot of males are actually females transformers or some shit right but yo this whole event with with the whole geechee Gotti beating loaded lutz you could tell like those that seen it you could tell like loaded lutz was not in his usual form you feel what i'm saying <laughs> you could tell he was not in his usual form like everything was completely off. You can even tell that daylight was very uncomfortable speaking about it. But he shed some light for a lot of the 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 chosen ones, the aka the otherworldly soulful ultratarian beings to go speak on these matters, right? And when he talked about the money look good, that's why I've been saying like this money don't mean shit, man. The money don't mean shit because if you have these narcissistic, draconian, sociopath, psychopath, two-faced joker industries of any industry offer you huge money, but you don't get no soulful vibrational back end to be able to give back to loved ones and you be able to give back to a lot of the soulful beings from the back end you get from that amount, it really don't fucking matter, man. That's why money does not it does it, it does not do anything to be the the ruler of the whole multiverse you know i mean money is not stronger than soulful beings that's why you see a lot of the soulful vibrational beings that do rap that do sing they don't be in these major mainstream industries at all they usually just be on the social media and just work with the small little little circle that they are in. You feel what I'm saying? Now there's a thing such such things called as soulless vibrational social media sellouts where they have like a whole bunch of followers on their social media and stuff like that. And they sold out for YouTube and stuff like that. Because a lot of soulful vibrational musicians, rather they battle rappers or non battle rappers, right? They 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 don't have so many they don't have a lot of followers on their social medias because they're too spiritual their their vibration is too soulfully strong and it intimidates these slave owners because these slave owners know if they bring these soulful vibrational spiritual battle rappers you know the ones that's not faking the shit with all these followers but if they bring the soulful vibrational battle rappers and any musicians into their leagues that only have like 100 followers or less on their social media, they would have a huge impact on their league. And let me tell you something about Ultimate Rap League. About this whole brotherhood thing, I'm going to go ahead and destroy this shit. Now, every time there's an interview, every single major star in, 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 in URL, aka the Ultimate rap league they always got to say pause after every line a lot of the individuals especially the male battle rappers they always say pause after every sentence as if they're not confident in what they're saying why you got to pause after every single thing you feel what i'm saying like come on man it's so fucking crazy like these these male battle rappers and ultimate rap league they keep saying pause after each sentence so it's like they be it's so it's like they be with this whole fucking mainstream Hollywood record deal sellout type of vibration or like doing these like you know male on male and female on female rituals like what the draconian slave owners want them to be cuz why you got to say pause after each sentence you know what I'm saying like shit <laughs> it's just ridiculous they say all this pause after each sentence just to, you know, hide the fucking 
homosexual acts that, you know, the slave owners want them to do. Like, why? You know what I'm saying? And that's about the whole so-called brotherhood and ultimate rap league and shit. But, man, you all tell me your thoughts about this shit, man. I feel like, you know, the Drake till death do us a part thing was a soulless vibrational narcissistic ritual because you know the soulful vibrational beings we don't put we don't have faith in no death we only we only rise and crystallize ascend into the next lifetime to have new advanced lifetime being guardians of the angel number multiverses and evolve in each lifetime that we get because we souls are always going to rise and crystallize we don't die Fuck this whole till death do us apart event set up by Drake. Man, the whole ultimate rap league is on some commercialized shit. A lot of any any major industry with a huge following is on some commercialized soulless vibrational narcissistic vibration, man. I had to share my gems on that, man. Your boy Jules, you know minds, you know hearts, you know souls of Universe 21 had got y'all some ultratarian, futuritarian gems. And we out, man. Shout out to Kingdom Come. Shout out to Blazing Game, Fire Fame, DMC, Diverse Movement Crew, Elemental Franchise, Ice World. You feel what I'm saying? You know, Luffy Game. Shout out to all my soul family that that's real tapped in.